Hey folks, it is Tuesday, November 15th. Wanted to bring you an update and let you know where everything stands in this crazy past six or seven weeks that we've had. So as you know, and if you've been following me, Hurricane Ian threw a wrench in all of our plans um, and has slowed things down and delayed a lot of things for us. I had hoped to have launched my business by now. Um, my goal was November 1st and um, we were going to go out to Vegas to Printing United. I was going to try to have everything ready before we went out there and then when we got back we were going to launch the business and that didn't happen. First, the day we were leaving for Vegas, uh, we uh, had our flights booked and um, we uh, our, our flight got delayed and then a little while later it got delayed again and we weren't going to make our connection so we booked another flight on another airline and uh, about five minutes after we booked it it got delayed and then like five minutes later it got canceled and then our original flight got canceled and we were at the we got to the airport uh, while you know we were on the way to the airport while all those cancellations were happening went inside it's a madhouse. Turns out earlier in the day, a plane had landed and blew two tower two tires when it landed, and they shut the entire airport down for the day. And we did not make it to Vegas. Um, the only options we had were only going to get us there for like one day for the show. And then, of course, uh, all the delays with permits and everything, and all the obstacles that have happened. Um, we're moving. Um, we not we not we're not just moving our home, which we did last weekend. The movers brought the rest of our stuff down this week past weekend, and so all of our stuff is in Florida now. We are here. We have moved. It is done. We are moved, and we are in Florida. And the second move that we're going to be making is the business. Uh, you know, we le we leased the space back in at the, towards the end of the summer, um, and uh, the city was wanting some work done for zoning compliance. My landlord is a contractor. Uh, he was going to do the work and the storm hit and now he has like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of customers uh, that he has to take care of. Uh, so in the circumstances he's going to let us out of the lease, which is not a bad thing because we ran into some obstacles here we weren't expecting. One was uh, the traffic noise. Um, just, you know, I talked about that in the video of the day. The a uh, super nice lady next door, but she uses equipment and air compressors and saws outside in the parking lot and things and uh, just makes it really hard to do videos in here. Um, and so we're going to uh, relinquish the space. We did, boy, I tell you, finding new space was a challenge because uh, all these contractors moved into the area after the storm and they leased all the flex space, all the like small warehouse type space and uh, it was tough to find. But we did find a space, we're waiting on the lease to come through so we can review it and get it signed and lock it in uh, because it's really the only space of that size that we could find in this area. It is much larger than what we originally planned. It's much more expensive than what we originally planned. but. We really don't think it could be much more of a perfect space the way it's laid out and everything. Uh, it, it, the the uh, lease rate is not that bad compared to what else is in the area, uh, but it is a lot more than what we're paying here, um, and uh, you know it's like more than double. Probably almost three times what our mortgage was at home uh, back in Louisville. But we're going to do that. Let's hope that comes through for us and that nothing happens between now and getting the lease signed. Um, but uh, uh, if we do that, we're going to get possession on February 1st. So um, we're not going to be able to probably launch anything until then. Um, uh, there could be some things before then. We'll see how this goes uh, in the interim. But uh, my plan will be to get this all planned out, prepped and ready. And we move in February 1st and hope to be able to launch within a couple of weeks after that. I've just got a lot of work to do between now and then to make that happen and get everything ready. The new location is back across the river in Fort Myers, uh, outside of city limits in Lee County. So uh, that'll be good for us uh, from a tax standpoint and everything. Uh, it, it is uh, about 15, 20 minutes from the house, depending on traffic. It could be 30 minutes sometimes, depending uh, if, if what time of day it is and what tr direction the traffic's flowing and everything. But um, we think this is really what we needed. 
Uh, we only signed a one-year lease on the first base to begin with because we knew we would grow out of it within a year. And by that time, we will have been in that space, been, you know, trying to get us going for like five or six months. So, um, you know, by the time we get that space set up and everything, it's really what we're going to need. Being that we're going to have more space and uh, the commitment's larger and things we have to do to pay for the place, we're going to have more product offerings to kick things off than what we planned on. We, we had planned to grow into that and Hurricane Ian kind of has thrust us right into it and made sure that we're going to go all in uh, at the at the outset. So that's good news for you guys um, that, uh, you know, there'll be more details on that, but we're going to be able to do a lot more of the things you want us to be able to do out of the gate by doing it this way. So uh, today I'm headed up to storage units again to uh, take some things to the storage units, bring some things back. Had to get storage units, I think I mentioned this before, all the way up next to Punta Gorda. It's like 30, 40 minutes away from the house uh, because uh, half the ones down here were sold out, the other half flooded with the storm. And uh, trying to just get our stuff organized, get it under control, get things in the house and put away, and you know, all the things we need to function and be able to enjoy Thanksgiving, all that fun stuff. So. Uh, it, it's it's moving along now what the little clip you saw at the beginning of the video I got an email last week that here in it's actually it was actually over in North Fort Myers they had golden fest golden retrievers everywhere oh my gosh there were dozens and dozens and dozens of them there were some other dogs out there too but the golden retrievers were it was just like a bunch of angels running around um molly was not that impressed with it she's so skittish and timid she just wanted to get under a table and lay down and watch <laughs> and not get out and mingle and socialize but uh, so i think tammy and i had a much better time than she did even but uh but that was just that was great great just pulling up and seeing all these people walk around with the golden retrievers are just oh we love them we love them uh but uh we had a good time with that on sunday so i'm going to leave you with some more video clips of the angels running around uh, at golden fest mm -hmm.